Hello guys. Welcome to another interesting and informative vlog of our daily diaries. The purpose of this vlog is to share with you guys some interesting informations and facts about the Great Pyramid. There are so many questions which wander in our minds when we think about the Great Pyramid. Some of those are how are these gigantic monuments built with simple primitive stone age equipments? What is the purpose of these humongous monuments? Was these monuments built by humans or by any alien species? And does power seeking mummies as depicted in the famous Hollywood movie The Mummy Really Exist? There are so many researches and excavations done at this place to explain the mysteries behind the Great Pyramid. Based on the informations which we have collated, we will try to unfold some of these mysteries through this vlog. First, we will see what pyramids are. A pyramid is a structure whose outer surfaces are triangular and converge to a single point at the top, making the shape roughly a pyramid in geometric sense. The base of a pyramid can be trilateral, quadrilateral or of any polygon shape. A pyramid has at least three outer triangular surfaces. For sure all of us should have seen some of the pictures of the pyramids in Egypt and will be easily able to relate those pictures of pyramid with the definition. When we see pyramids in Egypt, the picture first runs to our mind is the Great Pyramid of Giza. Even though there are a number of pyramids in Egypt, the pyramids of Giza stand apart because of its humongous size, geometrical precision in construction and secret chambers. No records or evidence are available on how these pyramids are built, however, the archaeologists have excavated few primitive tools from the nearby sites which are believed to be used for the construction of Great Pyramids. But the precision gained by these workers in constructing the Great Pyramid using these primitive tools still raises many questions in human minds. Inside the Great Pyramids, there are complex passages and chambers which are made out of granites. The stones of Great Pyramids are arranged in such a way that not even a credit card will pass in between these stones. To fix the stones together, the Egyptians used a gypsum-based material which the modern science is still failing to recreate. The Great Pyramid is 481 meters tall and made up of 2.3 million blocks, some rocks weighing as much as 50 tons. The whole structure weighs almost 6 million tons that is equivalent to 16 Empire State Buildings. For close to 300 plus centuries, it was considered as the tallest building of the world and a marvelous piece of engineering. The foot size of 755 on each side of pyramid varies in length by less than 2 inches. Now we will see why these towering structures are built with so much of human effort. During the 3rd and 4th dynasties of the Old Kingdom, Egypt enjoyed tremendous economic prosperity and stability. Kings held a unique position in Egyptian society, somewhere in between human and divine. They were believed to have been chosen by the gods to serve as mediators between them and the people on earth. Because of this, it was in everyone's interest to keep the king's majesty intact even after his death. The Egyptians believed that after the king's death, they will become Osiris, the Egyptian god of the dead. The new pharaoh in turn became Horus, the falcon god who served as protector of sun god Ra. The Egyptians believed in life after death and when the king died, part of his spirit known as Ka remained within the body. To properly care of his spirit, the body was mummified and everything the king would need in the afterlife was buried with him, including gold vessels, food, furniture and other offerings. The pyramid's smooth angled sides symbolized the rays of the sun and were designed to help the king's soul ascend to heaven and join the gods particularly the sun god Ra. It took centuries for the ancient Egyptians to figure out the technique to be used to build the Giza pyramids and it is believed that the Egyptians took 20 years to build the Great Pyramid. Pyramids are originated from simple rectangular tombs called Mastaba that was being constructed in Egypt over 5000 years ago. A major advance occurred during the reign of Pharaoh Djoser around 2630 BC. His tomb at Saqqara started off a simple rectangular tomb before being developed into a six-layered step pyramid with underground tunnels and chambers. Another leap in pyramid building techniques came during the reign of Pharaoh 
Snefru, around 2575 BC, who built at least three pyramids. Rather than constructing step pyramids, Snefru's architects developed methods to design smooth-faced true pyramids. One of Snefru's pyramids, constructed at the site of Deshur, faced a design flow. The angle of the pyramid changes pathway up, giving the structure a bend appearance, hence known today as the bend pyramid. Correcting the design flow, Snefru's architects constructed a second pyramid at Deshur, known today as the Red Pyramid, only because it's named after the color of its stones. Making use of all construction technique mastered during Snefru's period, Snefru's son Kufa constructed the architecture marvel, the Great Pyramid of Giza, the largest pyramid of the world. The first and largest pyramid at Giza was built by the pharaoh Khufu. His pyramid, which today stands 455 feet tall, is known as the Great Pyramid, and was considered to be a wonder of the world by ancient writers. The Pyramid of Khafre was only slightly smaller than Khufu's, but stood at higher ground. Many scholars believe that the Phoenix Monument, which lies near to Khafre's pyramid, was built by Khafre, and the face of the Phoenix was modeled after him. The third pharaoh. To build a pyramid at Giza was Mankuri, who opted for a smaller pyramid that stood 2,115 feet high. Researchers have noted that the Egyptians were successful in aligning the pyramids to true north very precisely. Glenn Dash, an engineer who studies the pyramids at Giza, noted that Khufu's pyramid is aligned to true north within one tenth of a degree. How the ancient Egyptians were able to achieve this precision? Is not fully clear to modern science even now. It is believed that the pyramids are built by slave. However, many researchers deny this argument. It is believed that close to 10,000 people were involved in the construction of Great Pyramid, and they are treated with respect and even provided beer and meat-rich diet to ensure their health. According to many Egyptologists, many of the stones used in Khufu's pyramid are from a quarry located just south of the pyramid. It is believed that for the construction of Mankuri's pyramid, the workers would have used blocks from a quarry located southeast of Mankuri's pyramid. However, it is unclear which quarry was used for Khafre's pyramid. Based on the evidence excavated, it is determined that the limestone used in the casing is from a quarry located at Tura, near the modern-day Cairo, and it was shipped to Giza by boat along the Nile River by building canals. In order to transport the stones, the workers would have used large sledges that would be pushed or pulled by gangs of workers. According to a team of physicists from the University of Amsterdam, the workers might have used wet sand in front of the sledge in order to move the heavy stones. According to physicists, the Egyptian desert wet sand can reduce the friction, because of which only half of the workers are required to pull the sledge on wet sand compared to dry sand. In addition. There are few ancient Egyptian artworks indicating water being poured in front of the sledges. Most Egyptologists agree that when stones are arrived at the pyramids, a system of rams was used to pull the stones up. However, Egyptologists are uncertain on how these rams were designed. Little evidence of these rams survives, but several hypothetical designs have been proposed over the last few decades. Many archaeologists and scientists believe that these pyramids are built with support of aliens. Many believe that these archaeological precisions can only be created with sophisticated equipments like laser cut machines, which were not available to Egyptians 4,000 years ago. Few scientists even supported their arguments by providing pictorial depiction discovered nearby the Great Pyramid, indicating the Egyptians taking support from extraterrestrials. Based on the latest findings. These pyramids are built as a power plant in order to produce electricity. We will create a separate video on the conspiracies revolving around alien support to Egyptians in construction of Great Pyramid, mysteries behind mummies, and on the latest findings related to Great Pyramid. Until then, stay tuned. As always, if you're enjoying our videos, please do support us through likes, shares, and comments. Also, please do ensure that the subscribe button is always flashing as subscribed. Thanks for watching.